quick video showing you how I do my performance analysis for plugins to optimize them. First of all, basically, it's figuring out um, where the performance bottlenecks are. Um, so you really want, you want a hierarchy. I mean, you can analyze in it and performance optimize to the nth degree, but you really just want to focus in on the biggest bottlenecks to start with. So I'm using two, to two tools. Um, Xdebug Profiler, I've got a guide on my website on WP Intense how to install that and set it up. Um, and also the PT Query Digest um, tool from Procona DB. So that gives us um, all the PHP analysis and the um, MySQL analysis. Okay, so this is a program called Q Cache Grind. This is what you use to um, basically your X profiler produces a cache grind file. Um, and when you open it, you get something like this. So it's showing you this top function is using up this amount of time. The self column means that um, it itself is not using up very much time, so it's all its children that are using up that time. A uh, number of times called, not actually called directly, um, et cetera, et cetera, right? Over on the right hand side, you see what is consuming all that time. So we see WPDB query, 33%, and of that 29% from the actual query. And then some um, plugin specific functions here, so we'll take a look at them as well. But uh, you can see the biggest chunk is actually the the database queries. Okay, so in the blog article that I'm publishing, I just um, describe what I'm looking at here, but um, basically, I mean, looking at this, it means that I need to go and look at the actual SQL queries. Okay, so this here is showing you the results. I've run a profile of, uh, at the same time I ran a, I, I basically set the slow query log to zero, so it grabs all the all the queries that are run. Um, and what you're getting here is a little leak table. So that's showing you the 20 different um, types of queries um, that it's categorized um, and this top one here in certain WP post meta 20% of the time but then you get delete post meta 18% and select 10% and etc etc okay so in this example I mean um, at the beginning it sort of looks like there's not a huge amount can be done. I mean, inserting into WP Post Meta, the only way that I can really speed that up is by removing indexes. Um, indexes, they, uh, when you've got multiple indexes on your tables, then um, they have to stay sorted. So as it does slow down inserts and updates to your table a little bit. Um, but uh, as you find out, there's actually a bigger deal going on here. Okay, so... Um, yeah, so I mean, I, I ran these in, um, I'll show you, I ran these in, uh, yeah, so I ran the explain command, um, and it tells you, um, yeah, basically it tells you that it's using an index, um, oh no, sorry, that's not the right command. So zero seconds for that one, and if I explain it, yeah. Oh, because it means, um, what was the other command? Um, just a second. And um, because it's got some statistics, right, which means that it will, it can make educated guesses about whether or not it needs to um, run the query. But anyway, so if I do that, right, we get something back. We've now got 0 0.01 seconds. If I explain that, you get the indexes. Okay, so it's telling you the key. It's using the primary key because we're using the meta ID. Okay, makes sense. Um, number of rows I had to check, one, right? You can't get better than that. Okay, so um, if that's the case, why is it a problem? So what I then do is I'm actually going into the MySQL log itself. And I'm looking for these queries, okay? So what I did was I'm looking at, um, for example, delete from post meta. Um, so if I search for that, um, what you can see, I don't know if it's, maybe I'll make it bigger, hold on, I'll make it bigger. Okay, so what you can see is what it's actually doing is it's selecting from WP people most met it's getting the meta ID from post meta where the key is width and the post ID is two twenty four. See this two twenty four two 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 four is highlighted, okay? And that means it's repeating for every single meta key. And what it's doing is it's grabbing the meta ID and then deleting it. Meta ID, deleting it, meta ID and then deleting it. Okay? So if that's what it's doing, all of it, and it turns out it does it twenty four times or twenty six times, 
um, the same thing, okay? So that select, that means that there's thir uh, 24, 48 queries that could be turned into one query. Okay, now if you've got the chance of doing 48 PHP based queries where it's opening the connection to SQL, going forward, asking it to do this, it's preparing the results, sending them back versus doing it all in one command, then you're gonna get far faster performance. Um, so that's 48 is basically a combination of select to grab the meta ID and then the delete. If we just change that to just delete from post meta um, where the meta key is in all of these things, then we're gonna get a major speed boost. Okay, so in that case, that's how I found out. I'm not 100% sure I've really explained everything to you, but um, that is how I go about doing my performance analysis. I mean, the summary is, we start off in um, QCache grind, get the results from X debug profiler. Um, I mean, it's cool, it drills down and shows you all the commands, you know, where the source code is. Um, so like for this chunk command, for example, um, it's showing you how many counts XML reader and then this string replace is not using up too much time, there's quite a few counts. It's really the XML reader, um, so there's probably not a huge amount could be done to improve that, unless it's actually reading it multiple times when it doesn't need to, which quite a lot of plugins do. Um, so I'll check that too. Um, and here you can see it's um, the import record function but, um, yeah I mean it, it's very useful you can drill down into whatever you want it's very very cool um, and then again the summary of the query digest you get a little hierarchy and then for each query this is your hierarchy number one is 25 20 percent um, and you see we've got insert delete select right so these ones here that 28 percent here we're gonna really cut that down because the select statement and the delete, they can, if, if it's 48 of them, we're going to re reduce how many calls there are, right? We're going to reduce that number there by, uh, divided by 48. Um, I would guess that that means that these other ones that are big numbers like this, the number of counts, they could also be um, fixed um, and reduced massively, okay? So, um, yeah, and, and the rest of the table, or the rest of the text file, basically you get a little example up to the slash G, and um, you get a little example query for each sort of query type, and it also gives you some stats about the query. Um, but I mean, performance analysis, performance optimization, it's all about figuring out where the bottlenecks are, um, either PHP or SQL, and then drilling in from there. It narrows you in, gives you focus to figure out, okay, so where is this? Why is that happening? What can I do to fix that? Is there another way to do it? Quite often it does require um, looking at business logic. I mean, the simpler kinds of ones are where you've actually got poor performing SQL queries and you can just fix them with indexes. Uh, but in this case, it's actually understanding the business logic. I mean, it's multiple select statements from the same post, selecting the meta ID and then deleting it, selecting the meta ID and then deleting it. Okay, so, um, yeah, and that's all these ones, right? It's, it's the same thing. And I'll go through the code and I'll actually check the code for this kind of command um, where it's deleting getting the meta ID from post meta, um, I'll find it, I'll find the source, and then I will, um, you know, basically go through and do a code inspection line by line to make sure that that is what it's doing and that there's no other extra reason why it needs this meta ID. I don't see why it would if it's deleting it. Um, and these are the SQL commands, these are all the SQL commands in order, so there's no other SQL command that happens. Um, so, I don't, see that there's anything else that could be needed okay so that's probably going to be change all that to a single sql delete and uh, we should be gold all right i hope that helps you guys uh, any questions let me know I'm going to make more videos